see, I run a program. I run programs. I don't really uh, do a class per se because on a psychological level, when you run a class, normally a class will get broke down to the lowest common denominator. All right, I don't do that. I run a program. Regardless of your skill level or current ability, if you're lagging behind, it's your responsibility to get with the program and stay on task. It's not, you know, it's that I can't do that for you. Uh, one thing that I have come to understand over my time in the business, so to speak, is one of the most important things that is my direct responsibility is to instill the desire in the individual to want to be better. Because if you don't want it, there's no amount of uh, instruction or dry fire work, live fire work that's gonna make you any better if, if you don't want it. Basically what you can expect from uh, attending any program that I run is uh, the simple fact that you gotta want it. You gotta wanna be better from where you're currently at. Um, if you need help with that, I can certainly help you with that. Um, there's a certain amount of uh, range psychology that I've learned over the years as far as interacting with people of different skill levels. It happens every program I run. Uh, nobody's, you know, it's not a level playing field. I, I may be running one program, but there are 12 different classes taking place at the same time because I will advise, I will critique and advise someone based on my analysis of their ability level, what they are currently showing me that they know and understand, but more importantly, can do. And then, you know, I, I critique and advise along those lines. I get around quite a bit. Um, Northeast, uh, Mid-South, uh, Midwest. Uh, I make it out to California. You know, I go behind enemy lines every once in a while. Um, <clears throat> I get around quite a bit. I'm generally hosted, um, whether it's a range facility or if it's by like an independent, you know, like a training broker type dude. Um, I've tried to stay away from opening my own facility because that's immediate lockdown and that's not what I'm used to. I'm used to uh, working and traveling and that's what I enjoy most. The feedback uh, that I receive over the years, uh, which is, uh, I would say my high value payoff or, you know, in respect to job satisfaction, is periodically I'll receive either a phone call or an email or a text, you know, hey, this is so-and-so, I attended this program, such and such a date time group and this transpired and I was able to work through it because of what you did for me then. That's my job satisfaction, that's my payoff. Real-time payoff is when you're working with individuals uh, that really have nothing more than a confidence problem and you get them through it, you get them you know, you lay it out, you break it down. Uh, everything's important, everything matters. It's very hard sometimes to get somebody to understand that, but it is. Uh, everything's important and everything matters, but the simple fact is you are the one that decides that. And based on your decisions, you know, and resultant actions, uh, you either pass or fail.